Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day today. I know how your day's going if you'd like. Also, hi Gary. It's nice to see you. Um, so, I'm gonna start up Mass Effect today. Um, I have actually not played the first game. I've mentioned this before. Because it, um, when I was growing up, it was originally only on Xbox, which I didn't have it. So I didn't actually manage to get into the series until the second game when it came to PlayStation. And they never did really re-release the first game on PlayStation until much, much later. I never did really get a chance to play it. But yeah, I, this will be interesting because I've never played it before, but I've heard mixed things about the first game. So <laughs> we'll see what it's like because I really don't have an opinion on it. <laughs> but yeah, hope you're all having a good time. Go ahead and... First one's good story, but hella tedious. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be saving and restarting stuff a lot. Um, but yeah, I downloaded the Legendary Edition because that's on Game Pass right now, so I'll be able to play all three of them. I have played two and three. Um, I haven't played two in a, or I haven't played them in odd years. I did play the hell out of threes online mode though. I absolutely love threes online mode. Uh oh. Why is the stream not moving on? Uh oh. Well, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't fuck up. Um. Okay, the stream didn't move on. Let me see if I can figure something out here. Please tell me there's a borderless, thank you. Okay, this is fine, I just need it to be borderless. There we go. Okay. Now let me see what's going on with this. Huh, this is gonna be weird. Okay, so for some reason this capture captures the Legendary Edition, but it doesn't capture the actual game. That's weird. Alright, let's try... Switching this one. Okay, this looks like I can capture it with this. Yes, okay. Why is it? Yeah, it's weird that it captures the Legendary Edition launcher stuff, but it doesn't capture the game itself. It's kind of weird. Alright, now for the big test. Does my controller work? It does. I downloaded a, um, a DualShock 5 program so I can use my PlayStation controller on a lot of games now, Establishing which is nice. Connection. Secure connection confirmed. Oh, these are presets. Oh, that's right. I remember they... They changed the default to Red-Headed Shepherd. I remember... 
the in the I'm pretty sure in the original Mass Effect it wasn't this wasn't the default female shepherd shepherd. But I think ever since Mass Effect 2, this has been basically her default look, so they they changed it. In the legendary edition. Or yeah, I think it's legendary. Please log in to access your profile. Oh no, uh, I wanted to change the name. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service, please log in to access your profile. How do I change the name? Oh, here we go. Now I have to sit through this again. <laughs> Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Uh... Alliance Military, Mindoir, whatever the fuck that says. Uh, I think Earthborn, probably. Yeah, let's do Confirm Earthborn. Psychological profile. Trapped extremely survival situation. Physical torment survived. I guess Soul Survivor. Confirm military specialization. Adept. I always go with Adept. Vanguards are biotic warriors. Combine biotics and weapons. Yeah. I generally go with just straight Adept. Because I like the space magic. Confirm facial identification. What are the presets? Not very good facial structures in this game, I do remember. I can start with this one. Oh, it's a freaking it's a slider. With default, um Oh, that's different than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, here we go. Face size. <laughs> Just the side of your size of your face in general. Oh, I see. Bottom. I don't really even see what this is changing. Ah, oh, there it is. It can't even really see the ears, so that doesn't matter too much. Come on. But... Uh... I'm very bad at some of these character, these older character creators. This one seems to have a problem with me turning it left and right, though. Yeah, I can't really see the cheek spots. that the yeah I 
basic no shape, please. I hate that I have to turn all the way this way for the profile. I like that the red is back here. Honestly, it's funny because I probably could have just picked Default Shepherd and been fine, since Default Shepherd is pretty much <laughs> my normal for character creation anyways. Because I think this is Default Shepherd's hair. <laughs> or this one. No, it's, it's this one. That's Default. I'm going to go with this one. Makeup. I don't care about blood. I can never really get blush to work in video games half the time. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see what else we got. Dark red should be the red should be fine. I don't generally do scars. Yeah, this will work. Code. What does code mean? I don't know what this means. This code should be fine. Construction complete. Uh, except. But yeah, I usually play as an adept. Normal's fine. Auto level up off. Level scaling. Classic mode. The original 1 to 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 to 30 level range. I mean, it's the same, but the number of levels is doubled. Okay, yeah, we'll do the normal 1 to 30. I... Don't really know. Defensive is fine. Subtitles on, please. Odyssey on. I might need tutorials for this one. Alright. Copy and paste the code to remake the character. Ah, I see. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Anderson! Learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I love Anderson's voice actor. He does some of the best characters like in media. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. Ah, yeah, they were they discovered the Prothean stuff, right? On Mars. model freaks out every time I drink tea. <laughs> Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. The 
much it didn't turn out too bad. I have bad experiences with making characters in these kinds of games look really bad by accident. <laughs> Green turn into a crypto goober. Yeah. I've always been. Seth's, Seth Green's career has always been hit and Thrusters, miss for me. Check, navigation, but check, he's done a lot of stuff I like. Sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate it. Hi, Caden. I hate you. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having Oh, right. Voice. He's a specter. I forgot paranoid. about that. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. Also, so one, one of the best voice actresses, Jennifer right Hale. I absolutely love her. That is report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a calm buoy and link us. Like this game has so many really good voice actors in it. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. <laughs> Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always <laughs> in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, she actually didn't turn out too bad. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. I want a Mass Effect MMO. That would be fun. I think that would be really cool. It's It's got a big enough universe that I think it could be something that could work. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a spectre, a Turian spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Well, yeah. Andromeda has so many loose ends because it was planned to be a trilogy. <laughs> That's what people don't understand. That's my biggest complaint with people who say that Andromeda was bad. They didn't give the kid, like, it had its issues, don't get me wrong. It had a lot of issues at launch with its graphics and the way they handled things. But a lot of that was on time pressure. And also the fact that Andromeda got pushed to a secondary development team while the main development team worked on Anthem. <laughs> but Andromeda's story <laughs> felt loose because it was designed to be part of a trilogy or at least have a sequel and a lot of people complained that the characters didn't have any depth you're comparing characters from basically a completely new game to characters that have had three entire games to develop i don't think that's fair <laughs> it's not a fair comparison in my in my opinion I feel like people were way too harsh on Andromeda and for some reason didn't realize it's basically a new game. It's not a sequel to Mass Effect. It's it's was basically you could have taken Mass Effect out of the title and people probably would have liked it more. It's because it had Mass Effect on it that people expected way too much out of it. 
do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully? Because scared? I absolutely loved. A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. Did you enjoy they Andromeda? Come along just to observe shakedown runs. I feel like its combat <laughs> system is what makes it stand out. They did a lot of improvements to the original Mass Effect combat system that really made the game fun. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. But yeah, I whenever Andromeda came out, the biggest complaint I always saw was that it wasn't Shepard, which is something that upset me. It's like people weren't even willing to give new characters a chance, <laughs> which I didn't like. I didn't like that people thought like that. Hi, Chocolus. Whoa, you look different in this game. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. <laughs> you look real way different in this game. With me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power. It's weird Basically, playing this game. Shadow I do know from pretext in the second game that Shepard wasn't a Spectre in this game. Part. She becomes a Spectre Spectres in this operate game. Above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Um... I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. 
That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a <laughs> shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. Probably gonna be There's a lot of talking at first. Going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, Chocolate looks really different in this game. Can I actually up open the galaxy map? No. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Mm. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? A lot of information. <laughs> they were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Oh, I'd like to right. At this point, they don't know about that it's stuff. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. 
If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be... Yeah, it was Earth. Prothean. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All right, well, let's go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Hi, Ashley. I don't like you either. Like, I hate both of the human characters in this game that are part of your team. I don't like Caden or Ashley. Because Caden is an asshole and Ashley is a racist. <laughs> They're both really bad. Oh, it's a Reaper. Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. I can't remember if it's Nilis or another Tyrion that's Jenkins the main bad guy. You're going in. <clears throat> but since you start from the top, you can fix them. Uh... <laughs> Ashley's racism is still present in Mass Effect was doing Three. Some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. Shepard. We are approaching drop point two. Oh, original Normandy looks so weird. We go. We got to start with. Can I see my equipment? Hi, Mark One Lancer. Pistol is a Kessler. Can I? Okay, Caden and oh, it's Jenkins. Uh, I'm assuming he dies, seeing as how I know he's not a main character. Pistol. This is a shotgun. Okay. Interesting that you get to hold this many weapons. How do I actually... Yeah, I remember this game doesn't have... Whoa, what did I just do? Oh, that's a bomb. Okay. Yeah. I remember that about this game. That um, the guns don't have ammo. It's just a overheat mechanic. Trouble. 
Really? <laughs> oh, I keep trying to reload my gun and I keep throwing that grenade. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, these are powers. Bro. Where does it actually put it? Map throw. Select a power with L. Ah, okay. How do you, what does mapping it do? Exist. I keep throwing the grenade. B is melee, A is probably just interact, yeah. Is there not a sprint? No, there doesn't appear to be a sprint button. At least not right now. I think it's funny that I have so many weapons on me. I have, what, four or five weapons on me? Okay, he's dead immediately. Oh, meta jets, why is the heal? So what's the mapping for then? I, I keep trying to reload. I'm wasting all my grenades. No, yeah, he's dead immediately. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. That's going to be hard for me to get used to. What does warp do? Oh, oh god damn it. I'm, I can't get you. It's going to take me a while to get used to the fact that I'm... I don't need to, to hit to X to reload. Also feels very slow. Oh, there's Ashley. Oh, it's Geth. Oh, it's one of those spikes. I remember those. I forgot that the Reapers took over Geth at the beginning. So let me see if I do this right. I use warp on you. And then I use throw on you. That should cause a biotic explosion, right? Yes, it did. I remember things. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. 
We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. <clears throat> what else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. That you smile. This guy you know <laughs> carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! <clears throat> okay. Randomly assertive. Uh, access the mission computer. Spend talent point. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Quad. Here we go. Pro lift singularity. <clears throat> Wreaks havoc on a sense. Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time. doesn't say it doesn't actually say if something is I should probably get these charm and intimidate Fire six points and throw. Yeah. Because basically, I don't know if this game does it, but some biotics are primers and some are detonators. I know for a fact that lift is a primer and throw is a detonator. I don't know if it's that way in this game. Singularity is also a primer. I think, I think these are all primers except for throw. Well, minus barrier. Barrier's not a, a fighting one. Increases biotic resistance, reduces recharge. Okay, so let's do one of each in these for now. Oh, hey, I can turn the helmet off. Oh. Caden's biotic. Um. <coughs> well, I guess we'll put him in encryption and sentinel. Anything that makes a field or lasts a while is an armor. Hmm. Tea's already cold. That's fine. That's also... 
Unlike coffee, cold tea doesn't taste nasty. <laughs> And we'll do, I guess, combat armor. Okay. Whoops. Okay. It saved it immediately. Eh, it's whatever. I did get a new armor. Here we go. It is technically better than what I'm wearing. Coffee is always nasty? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I should probably wear this then, because it is much better. Our armor. Alright, let's go. Husk spikes! I know what these are. Oh, I forgot this game had a cover system. Where's a low object? This one has an automatic cover system, though. It wasn't automatic in, um... I don't have any grenades. <laughs> Warp. Oh, he's gonna die before I can detonate it. Yeah. Oh, A is sprint. No, that's Caden. Uh, I want to grab the crate first. So holding A is to sprint. Pistol, shotgun, and, and thing. Okay, so we got some equipment. And pistol is better damage. I think I would rather have the ec the little bit less damage, but the extra stuff. Caden, what is Caden actually using right now? He's a vanguard, so yeah, we'll give him the new shotgun. He can have the new assault rifle. Right? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I really don't need... Can I unequip this stuff? I'd like to unequip the, um... Oh, I have six... Wait, no. Wait. I have... I do have six points. I'm just going to go ahead and max those out. Because Charm and Intimidate will be very useful. Let's get... He's got four points, so... Chronics unlocked... Oh, he can use Overload now. Okay. Then... 
she... Probably gonna mostly use assault rifles on her. We're actually just gonna put everything into... Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Us. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh, they all they look terrifying, even in this game. Oh god, they're still alive. I wouldn't say they're alive. Do to them? That's how I do it, okay. So throw is mapped, so okay, I, I see now. So if I hit the button, it'll automatically use throw without me having to open the thing. So I should probably map this one because I should have a primer mapped. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Okay, um. Oh, I just need someone in my party to do it. Okay. Well, I have Caden with me. to be able to do this then. Oh my god, what am I doing here? Okay, I still managed to get it. That was a weird one. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Uh, you're safe. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle okay. outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the Did darkness. he touch it? Manuel, please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna slap him. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. There's only Nobody one person I punch it. in every He's single falling. game. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel, go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. That is that nosy ass reporter. In every single game, I will always go out of my way to hit her. You oh, you can reduce things to omni gel. Interesting. Alright, we did get some armor. We got an Avenger assault rifle. 
Okay, that's actually a good one for her. She can have that one. Give him this one. Didn't we get a shotgun too? Good accuracy, but yeah, the one he's got is better. Reaper sniper rifle. I'll probably equip this one myself. Heavy armor. Okay, so she can. No, no one can wear the heavy armor. Yet. I assume Ashley should be able to. Yeah, equip heavy armor. So she can equip it later. Yeah, I don't get heavy armor. Alright, I assume we go this way? Oh, there he is. Saren. Saren, that's his name. Linus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Ah, so that's what happens to Nihilus. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Oh, the music. Reaper ship. Alright, can I actually target them from here? No. Stop running in a circle. Wow, it takes my biotics a long time to, to recharge. Oh, those were explosives. I could have just used those. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What happened? I need to know how Nihilus died. The, the other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, 
I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? I mean, lucky break. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. I mean, fair. You just watched a lot of people die. <laughs> huh? What? Who? I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. Oh, did I miss? Oh, that worked. was targeting that apparently. Didn't hail really make chef, huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would be anywhere near as good without um Huh. I thought that was supposed to automatically target enemies. really have bad aim, huh? Yeah, is this not supposed to... No, it doesn't. That's... It doesn't do that in this game. That's a little annoying. I guess that didn't start up until 2 and 3. That's going to make playing a biotic character a lot harder. 
Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. The Geth look really cool. They're a really good uh, robot AI race. Their designs are really good. I love the way they look. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. What's that? Umbrella activated self-destruct mode. Oh shit. That hurt. Oh hi. Oh, I need to break that shield. Who's still talking? Who's still shooting? Heavy armor, medium armor. Oh, there's someone behind this crate, it looks like. charge remaining. Looks like it's on the other side of this wall, though. Oh, I actually have a stamina bar. I didn't even realize that. Overload is very useful. Oh, it's a husk. Oh, he exploded. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Actually, no, I have two minutes. Oh, it pauses time whenever you're in those anyways, it looks like. This isn't even the correct way to go. Okay. Oh, another locker. Got it. I got time. <laughs> Wait. Wait, well, no, where actually is it? Uh, 
Oh no. Is it back there still? Oh, is it up? Is it actually back here? Oh, it is back here. I just didn't see it. Oh well, I still have time. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can control the camera with the, the pad. <laughs> I can control the camera with the little pad on the PS5 controller. Wee! <laughs> that hurts my eyes. I need to stop. All right, so I need to interact with this. But why? I have no, no idea. The Beacon is, <laughs> is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Ow, this is hurting my eyes. <laughs> and it exploded. Why didn't it explode when Saren used it? You unlock Distinguished Service Medal. I got an achievement. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. I have no idea who that is. She looks like an Asari. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Uh, what happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? 
When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. It's so weird playing this one, knowing how things play out in the next games. This just feels weird. <laughs> Well, this is probably where Liara is going to be. This is usually where she hangs out in the other games. Glad to see you're Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. And 
may as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel now. Can you, uh, tell me why? The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Who's that? Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Was part he? Of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Boopity boop, who's back here? No one I can talk to. Random people. Wait, where's Chocolates? Oh, it's just right here. Uh oh. Okay. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. What do you say? <laughs> Earth is boring. Cute. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Jeez. <laughs> I should go. Goodbye, Commander. So what did I get here? Okay, so we got a new assault rifle. I mean, sure, I guess I'll equip it. I'll equip this one too, I guess. Why not? <laughs> okay, this is better damage. I guess I'll, yeah, this one is not too bad. We'll do this new one. Still no new light armor. So how do I do these upgrades? X, here we go. 15 damage to synthetics, plus 3 toxin damage, shield bypass. Basic round, yeah, that'll be. And. Chemical. Wait, how do I put 2 in?
Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a weapon upgrade. I don't have any of those yet. Got it. Then I guess sniper rifle will put in the armor rounds. Shotgun, chemical round, assault rifle. What am I doing exactly? Hello. Presley. What is my objective right now? So I think we just need to go to the Citadel, right? I can talk to Joker apparently. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. A Mass Effect Relay. Oh, I can kind of make out the Citadel in the background. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, until it's you learn that the Citadel is a giant gun. The Alliance <laughs> fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel control. This hey, Baggy, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, the game looks good for its age. It's definitely aged well. Though I don't remember if they did a uh, remaster, like a remaster, when they did for this game when they did Legendary Edition. I don't know if they did that. I think they might have remastered it. This is an outrage. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will Mass Effect is a good, has a good theme, the yeah. Hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. It is remastered, they don't stop yeah. Him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Uh, Sir, I hate this you guy. You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, I don't like politicians either. <laughs> Alliance report. Commander Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings. During a patrol of the Argos Road cluster, 
had particularly concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before the team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. And I... I still haven't leveled up. No. Oh, this is a quest. Go to the Hydra system and investigate. Oh, cool. Oh, these guys. And those guys. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. These guys. They're creepy. I don't like them. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? I always think it's funny that this race has to specify their feelings when they talk because they talk in such a monotone voice. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. <laughs> I like them. I like this race. Share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly. We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. 
Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. You seem very upset. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Hmm. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Dude, relax. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. All right. All right. Well, let's go. That was a lot of interesting information. Door open. That's not. That's actually a way down. What's this? I can't go in here. Nope. Let me in. Okay. <laughs> I don't like how slow I am. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. All right. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My Hi, name is Avina. Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. 
On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information <laughs> and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Okay. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations. A lot of information at the beginning of channels. this game. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Krogans, Council races have worked my favorite together race. to ensure the peaceful well, minus coexistence the guess. of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Krogans are fun. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. So what's over here? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. These things. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> I love the Elcor. They're they're one of my favorite races. Even though they don't have a huge impact. Executor Palin. Talk to you in a second. Do you have anything that I can steal? Oh, hello, you do. There we go. The following message was transmitted an untraceable account to multiple recipients by fellow biotic. You have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand it, if you tolerate us. Okay. Something about biotics. That's a quest. 
Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. I understand you're being that. Given a lot. <laughs> Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business, but I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law, especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. All right. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Ooh, leveled up. Six points. Um. Well, I could max out Adept, because that does reduce the recharge time. Then... Barrier, and then put throw up. Throw it more on each. They also get some points. Okay. Um. Encryptions and bring up electronics. Sentinel. She max out soldier. Then get the upgrades for. Hello. Who are you people? There's a few names in here, so... What's out here? Oh, it's one of the bugs. Two names in here, it looks like? Yeah, there's two names. Who are you? Are you? No, nobody. Okay. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay, so who are you? I don't have time to talk oh. now. All right, fine. Busy. I don't want to talk to you anyways. So, to CSEC Academy. Down the ramp. Goes to Citadel Tower. So I need to take this. Citadel Transit. Still a lot more stuff here, though. What? I can pull my weapons out. Why can I pull my weapons out in the Citadel? Also, why do I have a sniper rifle to put? Uh, map. Here we go. Okay. Go this way. Okay, 
Okay, so basically this just must be a fast travel around the Citadel. Then. Oh, hey, it's a Krogan. Oh, this is the Citadel Rapid Tran- Ah, dang it. I keep trying to pull my map up. There's not, like, a fast way to pull the map. Consort Chambers, this is where I need to be. Wait, what is this, then? Oh. So this is- Okay. So, yeah, it is just a fast travel system. Okay. I don't care too much about that. Hello. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't- recognize you as one of our expected clients today would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you can't i just go in mm, i'm afraid not yeah you must understand there are many who seek the consort services but if you wish to leave your name she'll make every effort to meet with you what do you do here nalina i'm one of the consort's acolytes many of the people here today will not see the consort but they expect to be attended to just the same it's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. Hey, then. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... <laughs> three or four mm -hmm. months. Three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's act. Many... It's our job to ensure that they leave... Content. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Hey, okay, well, that's all I here. can really do here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, mistress. 